the spread of al-Qaeda and terrorism in far-off corners of the world, places like Mali and Nigeria. It's why we're watching Boko Haram uh, and al-Qaeda in the Mag Maghreb, or at least why, why we should be. Don't we have a responsibility then in places like Syria, where terrorists feel emboldened by the chaos that we've left by abandoning our red lines, don't we have a responsibility then to intervene in those conflicts where terrorism, people who would want to kill United States citizens, are growing what would and you have us do? Well, in Syria, I would have yeah, had us we should, we should. three years ago okay. go into Syria and do what? when the terrorists and, do what? and the rebels numbered in the dozens. And do what? Instead, now they number in the thousands. You say go in, do what? Well, we certainly could have armed the rebels. We, we could have. Of course, we, we could we, have. We, when wait, they were in the dozens, wait, wait, we could have we, armed we, the right we, people, we, Peter. We, now we don't okay. know who they are. Look, I think but one of the what? lessons. I think one of the lessons we've. Look, it's pot, there may be well be that there was a case for for arming the rebels early on. Yeah. But I think if one thing we've learned from Afghanistan and Iraq is that we should have a little more humility about America's ability to decide who among the Syrian rebels well, are the Obama's, real, are the moderate, and the jihadists. Where is Obama's humility in announcing a red line then, in involving us in that conflict in Syria and then abandoning the, our our? The red line was a mistake, but we have 90% okay. of the chemical <laughs> weapons. I'm not a, I'm not going to defend everything Obama's done, but 90% of the chemical weapons are out of Syria today, which was more effective than what would have happened but Peter, had we actually Assad, used them. Assad, and just recently yeah. he used bleach on his own people. What what responsibility how do they would have? America, how would have America, having killed several hundred people by throw, sending in Tomahawk missiles simply t because Obama had said, he said a red line, to have done anything for the people of Syria? Then well, we could, have toppled, we could have toppled it. Assad, and there might not be 160,000 people. We, those, me, those missiles would not have toppled Assad. They would have, oh, the oh, Iran would have just doubled down more. And, 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 which, and well, which, like, in, in terms of the Syrian civil are you on the Al Qaeda side or the Hezbollah side? I mean, who over there now are you saying that we should? Well, be it's gotten it's gotten to be a horrible <laughs> who knows situation, now? which is going to spawn so, and, terror and, and on the one mm -hmm. side and give Iran a victory on the other. It needn't and, have gotten to that situation. That's what happens when America does nothing. It's okay. not giving Iran. In fact, Iran is much much weaker. Than oh the yes, Iran. Obama. They're shaking in Iran their Iran is it's totally isolated in the region in a way that's completely different from how they were when Barack Obama. We are negotiating with stay, a guy, stay. Rouhani, who is who has bragged to the world scene that he's duped other world leaders to this exact position that we're in. Okay. Okay, okay. We, 